Step 7. 3D Documentation Activate the Floor Plan Preset View in the 8.7 3D Document folder of the Navigator View Map. We will use the Marquee tool to display a 3D cross-section of our project. Activate the Marquee tool in the Toolbox and make sure that the All Floor Selection method is activated. Create a rectangular marquee on the floor plan. Define the diagonal vertexes of the marquee with the help of the label arrows. Activate the Show Marquee in 3D command from the context menu to display the previously defined area in 3D. We will create a 3D document based on the current perspective settings. Activate the Capture Window for 3D Document option from the Context menu. Define a reference ID and a name for the new 3D document. In this example, we will enter 8.7 for ID and 3D Section Document for name. Press Create once you're done with the naming, and the new 3D document will be immediately displayed on the screen. We will now add some dimensions and textual data to the newly created 3D perspective section. Let's switch off the grid display from the view menu to get a clearer view. Activate the dimension tool and the 3D document dimensioning favorite. Make sure that the appropriate geometry method is selected in the info box. Let's now add some dimensions to the 3D section. Use the smart cursor to find some intersection points of the floor slab and the vertical load bearing structure. Once you're done, double click at the last vertex you wish to dimension or select the OK option from the context menu. Place the new 3D dimension line parallel with the direction of the section cut. Use the hammer cursor to select the appropriate orientation of the dimension line and then click once to place the new 3D dimension. Let's add another vertical dimension line to this 3D section. Please note that all these 3D dimensions are fully associative with the dimensioned points. This practically means that the dimension values will be automatically updated if the geometry of the dimensioned elements changes. 3D documentation enables designers to benefit from all the existing 2D drafting power of ARCHICAD in any 3D view. For instance, let's activate the text tool and the text 01 favorite to add textual data to the 3D section. We can also use the Label tool and add some material definitions to the project. You can update the 3D viewing angle of the 3D document at any time. All you need to do is to activate the Open 3D Source option from the Context menu. Navigate freely in the 3D view to find the most appropriate 3D projection angle. Once you're happy with the 3D projections, apply the Redefine 3D Document option from the Context menu, and then select the 3D document you wish to redefine. The previously created 3D document with the updated 3D projection settings will be instantly displayed on the screen. ARCHICAD's 3D document enables architects to develop state-of-the-art 3D construction documents by combining the robust 2D drafting tools and the power of three-dimensional representation.